Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Node.js on your Ubuntu machine. Let's get started. Um, actually, this is my preferred way of doing it. So I already have Node installed on my Ubuntu machine here. So I'm going to simulate a new fresh installation of Ubuntu by running a Docker container, uh, which obviously doesn't come with Node installed. In order to install Node, I'm going to use a tool. This tool is called FNM. It facilitates switching between multiple versions of Node.js, which means it's a Node.js version manager. This tool is built in Rust. Uh, that's why it's blazing fast. Uh, and I'm going to leave the link in the description. You need to go to the installation section. It says that we can use the following script to install FNM and uh, this script works on Mac OS and Linux. Um, we need to first ensure that curl and unzip are already installed. So we don't have any of those. So let's apt update and apt install curl and unzip, um, hit enter. And it's going to update the package index first and then it's going to install the um, the dependencies curl and unzip which obviously this script uh, you know, like seems to use as you can see if we search for curl if we search for unzip yeah um, cool so we had to enter uh, to continue installation great then we can copy this one and after the installation yeah okay we are going to copy to, to paste in the um, command which uh, basically like downloads the script and redirects it to bash to execute it uh, checking dependencies curl and unzip Cool. Um, downloading FNM Linux zip, installing for bash, appending the following. Um, so it has added this snippet to our bash RC file, which basically adds the FNM pause to the pause variable and then uh, evaluates uh, the output of FNM. And, um, so in order to apply the changes, we need to open a new terminal or run the following command. So we copy and paste this one. Now we have FNM installed. So I'm going to install the latest uh, long-term support version of Node.js, which is Node version 20.16.0 at the time of the recording. Um, Okay, now we have node version 20.16.0, which seems to um, work. Hello from node.js. Um, cool. I'm going to show you one more cool trick about um, FNM. So FNM has a flag, it's called use on CD. This flag allows you to automatically switch the Node.js version uh, whenever you change into a directory that defines uh, or like a project that defines what version of Node.js it uses. I'm going to show you an example now. If we have a project, let's call it project one. This project, um, I'm going to say that this project uses version 18 of Node.js. So how do we define that? We just add to the .node-version file the um, version that it uses of Node.js. So the .node-version file is not like a standard or, or anything, but it's respected by most um, Node version managers like FNM. Um, so if we change the directory into project one, Project one, um, it, it it doesn't do the automatic switching. Uh, we need to configure FNM first, but I'm going to show you that if we FNM install, it's going to detect what version of of Node.js to install automatically by uh, checking the uh, the contents of the Node-version file. 
So if we fnm install and fnm use, uh, it's going to also detect that we need to use the version in the node uh, version file. So node dash dash version, as you can see, has switched to uh, version 18 automatically. Uh, but we need to, in order to enable the automatic switching, we need to add uh, the following uh, dash dash use on cd use on change directory uh, flag to uh, the fnm initialization in the bash rc so in order to edit uh, bash rc i'm going to uh, add and install vim real quick and then um, which let's hope doesn't take much time Cool. Um, now, can I do them? Yeah, right. Uh, so now let's edit the bash, bash RC file. Let's go down here to the uh, FNM uh, initialization, initialization, and then add the dash dash use on CD uh, flag, and then let's source bash rc like to reload it um which is going to automatically switch the node js version so let me show you first that we are using node version 20 so if i cd project one it's going to use version 18 automatically it, it has switched that automatically let's get back to um uh, and let let me show you one more thing it it also respects the dot nvmrc file so if we create project 2 and let's um uh, let me project project 2 um uh, dot nvmrc and add to that add to that 16 um uh, save and quit let's go to project Project two, uh, it says can't find an installed node version matching version 16. Do you want to install it? So you could answer by yes or no. I'm going to say yes, uh, which is going to automatically install node version 16 and switch to that version, uh, which I see uh, a super cool feature that you can use uh, if, you, if you have like multiple projects that use different versions of Node.js. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you on the next one.